So Terra Luna, what's next? Where do we go from here? What do I see coming? And, uh, you know, the kind of the current state of the union. So this is going to be a really quick two or three, four minute video. Just get in, get out. I'm going to give you my opinion. Okay. So overall, this has been a, 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 a tremendously crazy, crazy ride, right? And so we've had everything, you know, from the, I'm calling it the implosion when Terra Luna and UST collapsed uh, to all of the fallout from that. Uh, you know, we've got litigation now going on. We've got, uh, you know, the South Korean uh, investigative unit is is investigating Terra Luna and their employees and all this kind of stuff. And meanwhile, we we had a completely new uh, Terra Luna blockchain come out. Uh, we took the existing one, renamed it, you know, Terra Luna Classic, and now we have the new Luna. Uh, Terra Luna Classic, you know, has become a day trader, swing trader is heaven. Uh, it's up, it's down. You know, whether it's a good investment or not has yet to be seen. We have the new Terra Luna, um, Terra Luna 2.0, as everybody is calling it. Uh, it's out and came out at around $15, uh, spiked down, spiked up to 17, then dropped all the way down, 80 plus percent drop, now coming back a little bit. I'm now hearing rumors and speculation that 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 uh, the team behind Terra Luna 2.0, which is you know the same people, are now talking about bringing out another stable coin. Okay, um, all of this is just a little bit too crazy for me. My personal opinion for me, I'm not putting money into Terra Luna. Doesn't mean I'm, and I'm not giving you investment advice. I'm not saying you should or should not. It's kind of a do what's right for you, right? Um, I tend to be a little bit more uh, conservative and really more kind of just, you know, I have, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Polkadot, you know, those kind of things. Yes, I have some money in Shiba Inu, some other speculative stuff as well. But at the end of the day, I, I really want the bulk of, of my investment dollars in very, very safe, stable, what I know, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera, right? And, and that's kind of where it is. That's where it ends up for me, right? And again, there are different types of investors out there totally cool, right? And if you love the ride that is Terra Luna, that's totally is that's totally cool. Uh, kind of a, uh, you know, be aware of the waters you are going into. Again, right or wrong, there's a lot, of, and there's a lot of opportunity there. I mean, there's people making money right now on Terra Luna 2.0 and on Terra Luna Classic, okay? Um, and so I don't fault anybody for doing that. I think that if that's, you know, if those are the, the the proverbial roller coasters you want to get into and you're on and you like me, you like those roller coaster rides, the Terra Luna Classic and the Terra Luna 2.0, cool, right? And, but, you know, at the end of the day, where it's at for me is I'm definitely a strong believer in, in uh, you know, knowing and trusting the projects you're into and, and, uh, having strategies built around them to take profits and knowing that those projects are going to be here, you know, a month from now, six months, a year, two, three, four years away. Okay. And uh, for me, that has yet to be seen, obviously, with the catastrophic implosion of the, the old Terra Luna, what's going to happen with now Terra Luna Classic, which was the old Terra Luna, and what's going to happen with Terra Luna 2.0. To me, the jury is still out, right? And I'm going to watch it. I'm still going to talk about it. Still going to you know, talk about it on my channel occasionally. But from a what's next standpoint, this is kind of a wait and see for me. And if you're in it, cool. Um, be kind of go into it eyes wide open. Be in it eyes wide open. Always be looking out for more information and, and just be trusting and knowing and seeing kind of what is it, what is it you're doing, and just kind of know the room that you're in, right? And I'm not saying anything bad about it at all. I'm just simply saying be aware, right? And have a plan. Have a plan to to protect yourself, protect your initial investment, have a profit plan to take profits along the way. Just have a plan. That's really what I wanted to kind of talk to you about from a what next standpoint related to either Terra Luna Classic or Terra Luna 2.0. As always, I really care about one thing. You guys who are my subscribers and watching my content on here on YouTube, thank you, by the way, for giving me a voice. I truly, genuinely appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button below, stick around because I want to help you navigate these waters uh, on a go forward basis. And so that's all I got for you. As always, have a good one. Go make some money. I'll see you. Bye. By the way, video, not for investment purposes only, or not, not, not investing advice, right? Entertainment, entertainment purposes only. That's what it's for. See ya. Bye.